God, Father, we are grateful for another month, the month of March 2022. What a privilege to be alive. You have given us your breath. That's why we're here. You've given us life and we say thank you. Father, you spoke and you said this is the month of divine help, my month of divine help. Father, we are thanking you because truly you are not a man that you should lie. You said it that you're going to help us. We believe you and we say, Father, help in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We are going to start our teaching series for the month. And our teaching series is going to focus on God's divine network, God's divine network of help or di the divine network of help. God's, no, divine network of help. That's a better way to put it. I will find it out very soon. But our introduction message, and our introduction message for today is going to be Dash, Daddy is my helper. God, divine, no, kingdom, that's the word. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Kingdom, network of help. That's it. That's a title. That's a series. That's a title of the series. Kingdom, network of help. Introduction, Dash. Daddy is my helper. Daddy is my helper. Glory to God. It's very important for us to know that he, our Father, Father God, is the source of every good thing. Every good thing, including help. Man is helpless without God. Type it in. Type your name in. Type your name. Like you say, Emma is helpless without God. I want us to remember that all the days of our lives that we are helpless without God. Why? Because in Genesis chapter 1, um, verse 26 to 28, we see that clearly is not hidden from us, that we came from him. He is our source. He is our sustainer. He is the root that we were hewn from. He's the rock from which we came. And we know in the natural, if you separate anything from its natural habitat, that thing has the, a very high probability to cease from existing. If you take a fish out of water, it's a matter of time, it will die. Every time, if you study throughout the Bible, man decided to do without God, the result was very predictable. They ceased from being the God that they were created to be. They lose or they came off their God statue and they began to suffer or eat with a pig like the prodigal son. Studying um, the Bible, Psalms um, 46 verse 1 to 7, Psalms 46, verse 1 to 7, we're going to be reading from the King James Version of the Bible. Psalms 46, verse 1 to 7. The first point on that, Daddy is my helper, is point number one. Daddy is my present help in times of need. I want us to leave with this understanding that the Father, our Father God, is our present help in times of need. He never takes a vacation from helping us, but especially when you are in need, I'm telling you, he will show up. Um, Psalms 46, verse 1, it says, To the chief music of the son of Korah, a song of up amor. God is my refuge and strength. Are you seeing that? He is a refuge, means when there's trouble, you can run into him. You can call on his name and he will show up. He is our strength, meaning when you know and you know and you know you cannot handle it, call on to your daddy. It's a very present help in trouble. If you are already in it, call on him. He said, therefore, will not we fear Though the earth be removed, are you seeing the condition where God can still help? Where the earth is removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling billow, there of Sila. Are you listening? He is that kind of help. 
where even things that should not move are moving? Are you challenged with a divorce before you? I want to assure you by this word that daddy can help. He can help you in the midst of that shaky marriage. He can help you with that health condition. He can help you in that seemingly bankrupt see tendency. You can see it all around you that the tendency for you to go bankrupt is right there. The assurance of the word of God that's coming to us is that daddy is a present help in times of need. Let's settle a few things before we proceed. That network of help originates from our Father. The Holy Spirit, the angels, um, destiny helpers. Without Daddy, that help has no foundation. I will ask that we read the rest of the verses. You will see that clearly that he is the help that all of us need. If he cannot help you, you are truly helpless. That's the truth. Let's make progress. In our, in our introduction, we are settling on some things that beside any other help we can ever ask or have, Daddy is the one that is always present when we need him. The next point, Daddy, as a help, as a helper, as our help and helper, is our shield and exceeding great reward. My goodness, Genesis chapter five, chapter 15, verse one. Genesis 15, verse one. I'll read this um, particular one from the, the New International Version. It says, after this, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Somebody type it in. Say, don't be afraid and put your name there. Ima, don't be afraid. And listen to what the father said with his own mouth. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you were doubting, if it's truly your help, I want you to hear what he said. And he's saying that to you, especially the one that is afraid of something. What are you afraid of? What is that thing the enemy is pushing you to the corner to be afraid of? In that same situation, I want you to scream it and say, in this situation, in my home, in my marriage, in my finances, in my body, in the life of my child, I refuse to be afraid because the father is saying to me, I want you to say to yourself, because the father is saying to me, I am your shield. Oh yes, it could be a demonic arrow. He is your shield. It could be people gossiping and lying about you. He is your shield. And your very great reward. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He says he is. I want you to see the father for who he really is. He is a shield. Who can kill you when God protects you? Who can throw a disease at you when the Holy Ghost is living inside of you? He said, I am, not I will. I am, not I was. I am your shield. Your very great reward. My God. I want to read it from the king so you see this. Another aspect the king brings out clearly. It says there, it says the father said, fear not. Somebody type it in, fear not. I am your shield and your exceeding, exceeding. That's the word we came to the king to pull out. Exceeding great reward. Now I want us to pause for five, maybe one minute and look at this God who is talking. The one that created the whole world with his word. If he is your reward, what is it that you cannot do? What is it you cannot have? Where can't you go freely when he's with you? The Bible says when God is for you, no man can successfully be against you. Case study, Papa Abraham. Even his wife, nobody could touch his wife. My God. Are you seeing this with me? Exceeding great reward. A shield and a great reward. When he is your reward, what kind of a help is that? I want you to think about it. 
we want to also settle the fact in this introduction. That's point number three. History makers. History makers are evidently women and men helped by our daddy. Remember the introduction was saying, Dash, daddy is my helper. We are settling on the fact that everybody that has made history was helped by the Lord. How did daddy help them? They came to the understanding that they can depend on him. They came to the understanding that God is the lifter of men. They came to the understanding that God loves us so much that he does not want to see us fail. Can you say to that? Write a chat, put it in the chat box. Say, God loves me so much, he does not want to see me fail. You can put your name. God loves Ima so much, he does not want to see Ima fail. I can tell you with all certainty, God is not associated with failure. He's not associated with evil. He's not associated with backwardness. That's the truth. That's his mindset. Look at the children of Israel at the Red Sea. He said, tell them to move forward. That tells you God's mindset. He only takes us from one level of glory to the next. That's the God you and I serve. And that's our helper. Let's consider the case of Apostle Paul. Acts chapter, let's look first at Corinthians, Corinthians 15, first Corinthians 15, 10, then we'll go to Acts chapter um, 26. First Corinthians, first Corinthians 15, verse 10. Powerful scripture. I don't, and I pray you never forget the scripture. He said, I am what I am by the grace. Oh God, grace is help. Grace is divine help, divine enablement. Grace is definitely a person who are looking at divine help. Family, believe that God can help you. Believe that God can help you. Believe that when his help is released towards you, your life cannot be normal. Look at Apostle Paul. Look at the accomplishments of his life. Listen to what he's saying with his own mouth. He said, I am what I am by the grace of God that was bestowed on me. I like the fact that he made it clear that the grace was not bestowed in vain. We'll see. We'll see clearly that people who really make it in this world are those who are helped by God and they took the help and they ran with it. He was helped by the Father. Divine help is real. That's what made Apostle Paul who he is. That's what made Papa Abraham who he is. You just saw that in Genesis 15 verse 1. Now let's look at another scripture to settle the fact that great men were helped by God. Acts chapter 26 verse 22. This is towards the end of his life. Apostle Paul still talking. He said, but God helped me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody typed it in. But God is helping me. God, but God is my helper. But my daddy is my helper. King James said, having obtained help of God. Are you seeing that? He received it. He walked with God's help. And he became the apostle Paul that we know. You know, men's secrets are in their stories. You want to know how somebody got to where they are? Listen to their stories. Don't celebrate greatness without checking how they got there. That's the truth. God helped him. He's telling us the secret. God can help. He is willing to help. He told Papa Abraham, he said, I am in the book of Psalms. King, King David is speaking. I'm assuming that's King David. He said, God is a present help in times of need. It should be King David. That's one of the people God helped the most. And you, you and I know his challenges. We, we know how he came to being King David. He, must, he needed tons of help from the Father. The question is, who is your help? If you do not have a help in the natural, Yet, start with the Father. Many of us have given our hearts to Him, but we need to permit Him to help us. We need to run to Him for help every time 
not sometimes. Why? It's in my why. Point number four we want to consider. He's our helper. He can help us because, number four, he is the source. He is our source. And he's our sustainer. Means we originated from him. Genesis 1, 26 to 28. He decided to create us ourselves. And he said, let's create man in our image and in our likeness. And then guess what he did? The first thing he did was give us the empowerment or the help that we need called the blessing. He blessed them. He blessed them. It was not a curse. God does not want us to suffer. That's the truth. The first thing he did to you was bless you. He gave you the empowerment or the help to succeed. That is Genesis 1, 26, verse 26 to 28. He's the source and he is the sustainer. Hallelujah. How do you know he is our sustainer? The Bible says in the book of Acts um, 17, verse 28, it says it is in him, in our God, that we live and move and have our being. Means he he completely completes us. <laughs> Not to like that. I like the way it came out. You can run out of him. You really cannot get out of God because he is our source and he is our sustainer. He is very purposeful and very determined to help us. How will you know, as we round up our introduction for the series, how will you know? How will you know that God is your helper? That's a question I want all of us to answer. How will you know? Number one means you always run to him. In the place of prayer. What is prayer? It's asking for help. It's asking for information on how to do it. It's asking for direction. Prayer is not only, Lord, give me, give me bread and butter. No, prayer is also, Lord, um, my wife is not understanding. How can I communicate with her so she can understand me? Father, I think my husband needs rest. He's been doing a lot of overtime and is affecting our family. There's a lot of things and ways we can receive from him information, direction, all kinds of help we can get from the Father in the place of prayer. So how do you know you are really depending on God for help? Because help can be available, but if you don't receive it, you might not be able to use it. Prayer. Every time you pray, you are, you are communicating to the Father that you are my help. You are telling him I'm a candidate for help. Lord, I have acknowledged that I can't do it by myself. If you help me, I'll be able to do it. If you give me help, I will do it. And I'll do it for you. I will do it your way. How do you know God is your helper? You always run to him in the place of prayer. Number two, you refuse to do how you feel and you choose to do the word. Number two, if God is truly your helper, you want to do his patterns, not your feelings. You refuse to act like the world, but you choose to act the word. You refuse to live by the world's standards. You choose to live by the word standard. Number three, how do you know that you're depending on God for help? Fellowship. Oh my goodness. Especially what just happened before our teachings. Do you see how everybody brought a piece of what they've been learning and were living complete? Fellowship is powerful. Look at what he said in the book of Psalms. He said, how good, how wonderful. How pleasant to the Father it is when we all come like this and we share like we've done from the beginning and now we're listening to the teaching. Listen to what the Bible says. He said he commanded his blessing. What is the blessing? Empowerment to succeed. What's the blessing? Help to make it in life. Every time you're running away from fellowship, you're running away from church, you're running away from a group of kingdom citizens building themselves in the word, 
It's an indication. You're telling the father, <laughs> I'm on my own. I can do it all by myself. Fellowship is an indication. Coming to fellowship, fellowshipping, sharing, participating is an indication that father, I believe you're my help. Because remember, part of the network of, of kingdom help is other believers. Another way you show the father, I'm depending on you. You're my help is giving. Giving to advance his kingdom. Giving in this sense means service. What are you bringing into the kingdom? When you're truly in need of help and you've studied the word, you will realize that we determine how much help we receive. Write it down. Write in the chat box. I determined how much help I can receive from the Father. How? By your service. And this is the most amazing thing when it comes to kingdom service. You can start where you are. You can do as little as you want. You can do as much as you want. You can progress as time goes on. But the question is, do you need help? When you truly have settled that daddy is my present help in times of need, the next thing you want to do is start looking for those who are in need. Look for those who need help and begin to invest in them. The more you give help, the more you will receive help from God. Type it in. Ima, the secret is out. As you help others, you open yourself up to receive divine help. It's a secret. It's an open secret. It's in the Bible. Why would God empower you to waste his resources? No. Every empowerment, every help in this kingdom is a kingdom advancement. And it's very easy to do when we choose to do because we know that that's how we attract more help from the Lord. I pray for you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for showing us that you are everything we need. That our strength to have good jobs come from you. The brain to be sophisticated and to be outstanding as a husband, as a wife, comes from you. Good health comes from you. All that we have is yours. Help us to remember that truly you are our help. You are our help and you are our helper. Thank you, Father, for reminding us that you are the help that we need in the midst of every kind of challenge. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, that you are our shield and our exceeding great reward. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, that every history maker was helped by you. Thank you, Father, for reminding us that you are our source and our sustainer. Oh, help us not to look to man and to people except when you bring them as divine helpers. That we will worship you and not the helpers. Thank you for showing us that our prayer life is a report card of how dependent we are on you as our help. Father, thank you for showing us that when we do your word, we are applying to be helped. Thank you for helping us to help others so that your kingdom can be advanced through our lives. Even as we have heard Holy Spirit, help us to be doers so we can receive the whole package and continue to grow as we do and teach others. To you be the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your word. Amen and amen.